I would like to show you a series of quick demonstrations that highlight the latest improvements in WP ecosystem. And I would like to start with the speed improvement of firmware upgrade over the air. There has been enhancement both in the BLE OTA application, which runs on WB, and also on the OTA client side, which is BLE sensor application that runs on smartphone, or Cube Monitor RF, which runs in conjunction with WB dongle and a transparent mode. To maximize the throughput, we enabled the 2 megabit PHY, we set the link layer packet to, the, to its maximum size and also the protocol unit of the high levels to avoid any fragmentation. And we also improved the flash management on STM32WB. The result is the speed is increased by a factor of 12. So to transmit a application, which is 100 kilobytes in size, take approximately seven seconds. So let's have a look how it looks in practice. So here I have WB Nucleo flashed with BLE OTA firmware. And as an OTA client, I will use STBLE sensor application running on my Android phone. I will search for all the advertising device nearby and I will find the STM OTA application. So I click connect. And here I can select between update of the application firmware or update of the wireless tech. So we want to test the update of the application. I will select the BLE sensor, uh, sorry, BLE P2P server binary, which is 100 kilobyte in size. And I press download. So now you see the update is running and after approximately seven seconds, the upload is finished, the application reboots, and I see the new firmware is ready. I can connect to point-to-point -point server. And in fact, this is our default out-of-the-box demo when you take the board from the blister. So we can control the state of the LED. We can turn it off and on, or we can press the switch one, which will send a notification to the phone. So you see the firmware upgrade is very fast and very easy to do. If you want to do another upgrade, you can swipe to the next menu and here, here you have the option to install another firmware, either the application or the wireless tech. Now it's a good time to make a quick overview of the Android and iOS application that support the WB ecosystem. We have already seen the SGBLE sensor, which supports many proprietary as well as adopted BLE services, just to name a few, uh, heart rate, point-to-point -point server, OTA, and many more. It shows a very nice GUI interface with nice graphs and plots. And it supports as well some advanced features like export the data into CVS and sending the data over email or to cloud. There is also a STBLE Starnet, which targets some specific use case of the Star network. There is STBLE Mesh, which allows you to provision and configure your own BLE Mesh network. And we have recently launched another application, which is called STBLE Toolbox. And this application, not only that shows you a nice GUI uh, to some of the BLE services, but it lets you inspect the characteristics and services that together make the BLE interface of your device. So the GUI interface lets you inspect the characteristic, read them, make right transaction to them, uh, enable notifications and uh, similar things.